Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a significant development in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Russian forces lost 48 artillery systems, 40 armored personnel vehicles, and 21 tanks in the last day, Ukraine's Ministry of Defense said. A post on X, formerly Twitter, on Tuesday from the ministry's official page reported the figures, bringing the total number of Russian losses of artillery, APVs, and tanks since February 24, 2022, to 13,029, 14,858, and 7,692 respectively. The latest update follows news that Russian troop losses in Ukraine hit 500,000 on May 25, according to Ukraine. In a post on X, the country's Ministry of Defense wrote, Russia's sick, imperial ambitions cost a lot. Instead of Kyiv in three days, they lost half a million people. It was widely reported at the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 that Moscow's strategy was to take the Ukrainian capital within the first few days of the war. Russia does not publicize its military losses, and military analysts are skeptical of reports published by both Ukraine and Russia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also said on X Tuesday that Belgium and Ukraine had signed a long-term support arrangement between the two nations which included $1 billion in military aid to Ukraine this year. He said the agreement specified the delivery of 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028, with the first arriving this year, and that the agreement guarantees Belgian support via equipment for Ukraine's air force, naval security, and military training. These latest reports come after Ukrainian officials said on Monday that a Ukrainian drone struck a radar system in Russia's Orenburg region, the longest-range drone attack on a Russian target thus far during the conflict at over 1,100 miles from the Ukrainian border. On Tuesday footage circulated on social media appeared to depict large fires following an attack by Kyiv's forces on Russian-occupied Ukraine. These strikes were reportedly carried out using American-supplied ATACMS ballistic missiles or HIMARS M142 high-mobility artillery rocket systems. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken visited Ukraine earlier in May, assuring the embattled Eastern European nation that further U.S. military aid was on the way that would make a real difference in the Ukrainian war effort. Zelensky warned over the weekend that Russian forces are preparing for a new offensive close to the border with Ukraine. On Friday, Russian President Vladimir Putin was prepared to freeze the war in Ukraine on current front lines, according to a report by Reuters.